this is Coach Charles McTack, Basketball Academy. Let's talk about rim running in our March Madness series on Michigan State University. They do a great job of having their bigs, either the four or five, the power forward or center, after a defense rebound or offensive rebound is converted to a offensive fast break, they do a really good job of having their bigs run down low of the court. What that does is it extends the defense. It makes the defense have to get lower than the basket and then disperse out. So it's quick strike opportunities. So we're talking about three major players here. So first player, let's get you in the middle, right? So he's our rim runner. Right now we're saying that the guy in the middle is the four, okay? Four or five, power four. We got somebody getting a rebound, boxing out, right? He hits it with the basketball, right? You can't see his legs, but he's gonna rebound the basketball. And now here I am, I am the outlet guy. Okay, I'm the outlet guy over here that's going to catch it and pass the ball forward. In the play that you just watched, Michigan State, and what I love about this play, is the ball hit the floor one time. I mean, it was dribbled once, right? Like just one dribble, and they kicked the ball up the court. We're going to do this bang board with no dribble, right? So you're going to bang the board. I'm going to sprint out. You're going to take off down the middle. We call that Main Street, and the whole idea is to hit you for a layup. Okay, down the middle. Ready? Yep. Ball. Out out layup perfect right that's the whole idea behind rim running the whole idea of rim running is we want to get either again it could be a four or five or according to your coach's playbook whoever is the first person down the court don't space out to the wings that's the guard that's the guard that's the guards opportunities we want the four or five running down the middle of the court to drag the defense also here's another secret if you don't know it's not really a secret the three second rule violation to where a player cannot get caught in this red area does not activate until the ball crosses half court. So therefore, when you rim run, the whole point of it is to camp out in this red area until the ball crosses. You can hog this area up. So now, Keon, we're gonna do it where I can't get, get it to you on one dribble. I'm gonna bounce it down. As soon as I cross it, I'm gonna give you a pass. You're going for it right there, ready? Swing it, ball, run the floor, Kyle. Nothing there, boom, layup. Perfect, good. We're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month and we need your help. We roll out high quality videos every week to help you become a premium basketball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. Last option, now we're gonna swing it. What's gonna happen is, same play Kyle, kick it up, ball comes to me, now follow it, follow it. Now, here he is, we don't have a post up, we're gonna swing it for a high-low situation or a shot. Make sense, let's go high-low. Last action, okay? And then Keon, so you're not called for a violation. You're right, you did the right thing. You come in, you can't hog it. Get above the block. Post up, ball, good. I don't have anything. I drag down the defense. Nice, we go high-low, and there we go. I wanna make sure we're taking your game to the next level. So I'd like to offer you a gift that covers all the must-know basketball principles. Click that link in the description below to download. And if you're really interested in becoming a premium player, check out our Training Vault Bundle that can be found at the same link. It includes everything you need to play with confidence and poise. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.